implementation. In this station, you will be asked to administer oral medication to a mannequin. This will be the same patient scenario you met in the assessment station. Read the information you have been provided as your patient's journey may have moved on from your assessment. Make sure you know what time of day you are being told it is and which medications you are expected to administer. Is it 0800? Is it 12 o'clock? Is it 1800 or 2200 hours? You need to have a clear, systematic approach to this station. Watch out for any mistakes or trips in the drug chart. Entering the room, checking it's safe to do so, and use the hand rub in my hands. Good evening. Good evening. My name's Julie, I'm one of the nurses here. Uh, may I know your name, please? Uh, my name is Sarah Hudson. And Sarah, what, is it okay to call you Sarah? Yes, it is fine. Okay. Um, could you be able to tell me your date of birth, please? Yes, it's 12th of April 1990. Uh, can I just double check that with your wristband? Yes, please. Okay, so Sarah Hudson, 12th of April 1990, hospital number F12345H. Lovely. I see you have a white wristband on, um, Sarah. Does that mean you don't have any allergies? Yes, I'm not allergic to anything. Okay, so Sarah, I've come here to administer your, your evening medication, your 10 o'clock medication. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. It's going to take about um, 10 to 15 minutes. Is now a convenient time for you? Yes, please. Yep, yeah? okay. So, I'm just going to open the trolley, which is locked and secured to the wall. Okay. So, I have confirmed I have the right patient. Um, it says here, Sarah Hudson, female, Date of birth, 12th of the 4th, 1990, hospital number F12345H. And it says here, Sarah, that you don't have any allergies, which you've confirmed for me. Okay, so, um, you're on AMU, and your consultant is Dr. Bird, and your height is 170 centimetres, and your weight 64 kilograms. Nothing else to note on this side of the prescription. Oh, I see you had a um, tetanus injection earlier, is that right? Yes. Where did they give that? Oh, in my um, arm. Okay. Right. Do you still have some pain there? Or is no, that okay? It's, it's fine now. Okay. Um, I see you had some painkillers um, earlier on as well, at uh, quarter to eight this evening. D did they help? Do you have pain at the moment? Oh yes, it is much better now. Okay, that's lovely, that's good to hear. You've also been written up for some cyclozine, which is an anti-sickness medication. Do you have any nausea at all? Uh, not at the moment. Okay, that's lovely. But they're both written there, so if you do need anything, please let us know, okay? Sure. Okay. So, moving on. Um, the first uh, prescription here is a, a probiotic drink. Uh, it's prescribed today, one, twice a day, orally, for 11 days, to be given at 8 a.m. and 60, 1800. It's uh, signed by the doctor and a bleak number's present, so it's a, a valid prescription, although it's not due at this time. Uh, there's also flucloxacillin, uh, date today, 500 milligrams, four times a day, for seven days, due 6, 12, 18, and 2200 hours. Um, the uh, doctor's signature and bleep numbers present, although there's no start date. You don't have any allergies, do you, Sarah? So it would be safe to you to have this. Um, however, I just need to confirm with the doctor what time he wants you to start this uh, medication, when he wants it to start. So I will go and speak to him when I've finished here and come back to you with that, OK? OK. So looking at the front of my chart... I'm going to put a code 6 for an incomplete prescription and I'm going to write on the back today's date 2200 hours, flucloxacillin not given because no start date and I'm going to sign that okay so going back to where we were 
Moving on to the regular medication. We've got some paracetamol written up for you here, Sarah. So, I know you had some stronger um, medication earlier, but it might be a good idea to take a little bit of uh, medication to help you um, so you have a pain-free night. Would that be okay? Yes, that would be good. Okay, so I have paracetamol tablets, 500 milligrams, and the expiry is June 22. Um, so I need to give two of these. Taking those and putting into my pot. Okay. So today's date is 21st of the 6th. Um, and I'm going to put a dot there. I'm not signing because you haven't actually taken them at the moment. Ibuprofen is the next medication to start. Uh, prescribed today 400 uh, micrograms, uh, written up for three times a day. Um, it is due now, however, there is no start date for this one either. So I will come back to you on that one as well, Sarah. Is that okay? Okay. So I need to write that on the back. Another code six. Have you eaten? Uh, yes, I have my uh, dinner. Okay, so if I get that um, added on after speaking to the doctor, I'll come back with you. It will be safe for you to have that if you've got food in your tummy. Okay. So the next um, medication is Marvalon, um, and that's uh, your contraceptive pill. Is that right? Yes. Uh, that's not something we stock in our trolley or on the ward, so I will have to order that from pharmacy. Um, so. Do you have your own ones with you? Uh, yes, it is somewhere. I have one packet with me. Okay. Um, so what I'll do is I will speak to the pharmacist and ask them to come and speak to you and look at that medication um, just to confirm it because um, obviously it's quite important to carry on the cycle from when you're um, left off. So we'll just need to double check that and get back to you on that one, okay? Do you normally take it of an evening, of a night time? Uh, yes, before I go to bed. Okay, lovely. So we'll we get that chased up so you can have that tonight, okay? Okay. Well, Helen, whilst I'm talking about your contraceptive pill and you are going to be on your um, antibiotics, it's important for you to know that um, your contraceptive won't work efficiently. Um, uh, so you need to use some alternative measures. Um, in the meantime, so for the whole time you're on the antibiotics and for another seven days afterwards, okay? Okay. Otherwise you um, could risk um, pregnancy. Okay. So the next medication, codeine phosphate, um, prescribed today, 30 milligrams, four times a day for seven days. Um, it's due now. It's a doctor's signature and bleep number is there. It's a... Um, Valid prescription, however, you had some of this at uh, quarter to eight looking at your um, stat um, PRM medication. So it's too early to have any more of that. Um, and you said that, you, that it's helped and you've not got too much pain at the moment. So I'm going to put a code two on that and write on the back a clinical decision not to give at this time because it would be an overdose. Okay, so that is written. Um, the next medication, Sarah, is um, some Senecop. That's um, to help prevent um, constipation, to keep things um, soft. Uh, where you're on codeine um, for a long time, that can actually cause problems with constipation. So um, that's why they've written you up for this. Did you want any of that now? Uh, although I don't feel like, but it uh, probably will help if uh, I take it. Have you had your bowels open today? In the morning, yes. Okay, um, let's get some cynical. Okay, so I have senna, and it's just two of these tablets. 
one. Okay. Okay. So that's all that was due right now then in that case, Sarah. So let's just go back to the beginning. Just double check we've got everything that you are due. Okay, so I'm going to come back to you um, after I've spoken to the doctor about the antibiotics, okay? okay. Um, so I've got some paracetamol for you. I'm not giving you eye briefing at the moment, but I might be back with that once I've spoken to the doctor. You're marvel on. We need to speak to the pharmacist about that. Okay. And I've got two Senecot for you as well. So can I just double check with your wristband one last time, please? Okay. So we have Sarah Hudson, 12th of the 4th, 1990. Hospital number F12345H, no allergies. So these are definitely the correct medications for you. So I'm going to give you a hand here, Sarah. Is that OK? OK. Got some water here for you. Are you sitting upright enough? Uh, yes. And do you have any swallowing difficulties? No. Okay. So, this is um, one paracetamol and some water. Second paracetamol and two senna. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Have they gone? Yes. Okay. Lovely. So, I'm going to sign the paracetamol. And I am going to sign the Senecop. You've got some water there if you need it. I'm going to lock my trolley and re-secure to the wall. And do my hands. So, Sarah, um, the medication you've just ha had, um, have you had Senna before? Yes, I have. You have. So it's unlikely that you're going to get any um, allergy reactions to them or anything like that. Um, but should you feel hot, flushed and um, sick in any way, or if your throat feels like it's swelling and you're having trouble breathing, please feel free to um, get in touch with us on the uh, call bell system. And um, we're, one of us will come and check on you, OK? OK. Can I do anything else for you before I leave? No, I'm fine, thank you. OK. Okay, then. see you a bit later then, Sarah.